Hi, Dave Jack here, Superintendent of Fauquier County Public Schools with another edition of Checking In. Um, as a result of this past Monday's school board meeting, uh, there's been a flurry of questions about the middle school modernization project and the uh, board's direction to my staff to develop an RFP around a, um, around a new school construction on the Chandler Middle School site. So I won't give you the, the gory details relative to how we led up to this and the interactions between the, the two boards and um, this process that, that really started a long time ago. But what I will tell you is the board directed us on Monday to produce an RFP, a, re, a request for proposals um, for a, a, a new school, a retro, uh, excuse me, prototypical school. In other words, a school that an architect has already built or, or an architectural firm has already built. So they're looking for a prototypical design from an architectural firm with um, three potential capacities, 700 student capacity, 800 student capacity, and 900 student capacity. So the board will have options to choose from in terms of capacity. And as I mentioned, it, it must be a prototype school, something that an architect's already built. And that's really about money. A prototype school is less expensive because it takes less, much less time to design. There's very little design. Actually, it's more about making sure that the, the, the prototypical design meets our instructional needs, the things we want out of a building, uh, especially in terms of, you know, a collaborative space and a, more of a 21st century-esque design. And the board also likes the concept of having three separate uh, pieces to the, to the building, a sixth grade house, seventh grade house, and eighth grade house. Um, and it's uh, the, the site that the the, the board has selected is the um, Taylor Middle School site, which more more precisely is the property just adjacent to um, Brumfield Elementary School. So we'll be working on that and producing that uh, hopefully within the next couple of weeks. And we'll bring bringing that back to the school board um, or at least the building committee, then the school board and at the December meeting. Uh, so that will take a little bit of time and and don't please understand that um, this by no means means that we're going to be running out and building a school anytime soon it just means that this is what the board's directed us to do we're going to do it uh, we're going to hopefully uh, be soliciting um, designs and budgets uh, from architects throughout the state or throughout this region and then with the ultimate goal of presenting our you know, the board's preferred uh, design and budget to the Board of Supervisors for their review and, and, and hopefully potential approval. So that's kind of where we are. I think that's a, a fairly accurate summary of what uh, transpired on Monday. The vote was 5-0, which was great. Uh, there's, there was a tremendous consensus, not complete in 100% agreement, but there was consensus among the five members about the need to uh, build a consolidated school. And of course, um, they, you know, the board was very transparent about the need to uh, redistrict ultimately. So what this would mean if they do a seven, eight or 900 student school, well, maybe not 900, but the seven or 800 level there, they will most definitely, we will most definitely be required to do some pretty intense redistricting uh, even at the 900 level, we're still we would still need to do some redistricting. So, uh, but that's not something anyone should be worried about, at least for the next, uh, you know, at least the next two, two and a half, three years. So, hope this uh, has been helpful to you, and uh, please keep the questions coming. Thank you.